Let's start here. Hi, back. everyone. Hello. Oh, excuse me. Quick little adjustments here. Hello. Because we're live. Hey. <laughs> live television, y'all. Hey. Hi. You're witnessing it. <laughs> and uh, I'm Erin the Mechanic, and welcome to ComicsPriceGuide.com presents Tales from the Geek. And I'm Be the Dove Queen. I'm Ness. And oh yeah, I already said I'm the mechanic. Yeah. Still am the mechanic. <laughs> <laughs> and we are at Dragon's Lair in Austin, Texas. That we are. And can't wait for y'all to join. If you're from somewhere else, let us know. Just because yeah. why not? We yes. want to see. Yeah. Where, where are else? you from? <laughs> Good question. <laughs> <laughs> so, want to do comics first? Yeah, let's do okay. comics. Awesome. Well, our first one is Falcon, number one. It is a Marvel Legacy title. Um, the first thing I want to say that's not about the book is that all of the Marvel Legacy titles have a stamp in them. This one's Doctor Strange. It doesn't really matter what comic you're getting. It's going to be a random stamp. So, like, so I could be, oh, you're reading Falcon and you got And you got Doctor Strange. Strange. Like, oh. like, my, like, my Iceman had, like, Hulk in it, so. Oh, nice. That's <laughs> yeah. kind of fun. Yeah, and you and they're, they have, they're perforated, so you can take them out. And if you go to a local comic book store, you can get a little booklet from Marvel that you can put all your stamps in. It's pretty fun. It, it's an old thing they did in the 70s and 80s, so I think it's a fun thing bring to bring it back. back. Oh, Massachusetts. Cool. Hello. Hi, Massachusetts. Hi, Massachusetts. Beast in the East. Um, yes. Also, all of the Marvel Legacies have a three, not all of them, most of them, have a mm -hmm. three-page primer in the back that catches you up on the um, origin of the character's book you're reading. Yeah. So Falcon is taking place post the Secret Empire. So uh, Sam Wilson has decided that he doesn't want to be uh, Captain America anymore. He gave it back to Steve, who is not... A Nazi anymore. <laughs> and, um, Yay. Yay. It's always good. Um, so he gave the, he gave the uh, title back to see, but now he's kind of trying to find himself and doesn't really know what's going on. And it's really more of like a um, look back at like how he got to this place and how he got to wanting to be Falcon again. Mm -hmm. um, I thought it was pretty good. Oh, we, are we gonna mention the abs? Yeah, Sorry, guys. yeah. One more time, though. But guys, Nova thinks he has huge abs. That's, that's like not, so many. That's not anatomically correct. <laughs> Look at his abs. He's got too many abs. <laughs> it's not like too a tall many abs. abs. It's, it's like, like okay. It's like a, a seven pack. Like there's one, just one right here. <laughs> Someone help Falcon. Yeah. <laughs> I'm afraid for him. Okay. And his extra abs. And yeah. His extra abs. So. Exciting. Um, yes. The second one we have is Gotham City Garage. It is based on a line of statues that DC does, where it's like it's like DC Universe women, but they ride motorcycles. <laughs> They're bikers. Mm -hmm. and, That's um, pretty cool. Yeah, and this it's kind of like DC Bombshells, and DC Bombshells has really taken off as, in its own right as a comic, even though it's based on a line of statues so i think this one will do the same Sweet. um it's about all the, it's kind of post-apocalyptic not really and it's about all of the dc women and they live in this town that got they live in gotham but lex luther runs it and it's kind of like post-nuclear like what? something like that I, I couldn't really tell i don't i think they're going to reveal what happened later what but happened? um they're, they're like rebelling against lex luther and working on Whoa. bikes <laughs> wow that's insane that's cool yeah. I like it. I like question I like mark. Stuff. Yeah, I don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> DC's number one. Number one. Yeah, it was it was the art was very cute. Like they have cute faces. Brian Ching has he did a lot of art on uh Supergirl recently, so Supergirl is one of the main characters in this. Oh, there you go. Nice. Yeah, Supergirl. And oh, um, really random. Oh see bit. see they all like live in a uh like Gotham is in a like a dome <laughs> and there's the nuclear fallout. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like your chicks, I'm in. Yeah. yeah. Agreed. <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> Way um, cooler so than I could ever be. <laughs> it's a digital first, so like the first like three issues are out online, but um but they're shorter and all of them are put into this. So you can read it as it comes out online for free, I think. But um Ooh, I like tangible copies. I know tangible <laughs> copies are great. So if you want to read it before it comes out in in uh, the issues, you can. But uh, you can wait for the issues too. Yeah. And our last, or you can read it and then go buy the issue, and you, then you didn't bend your book up. You can do you, anything you want. Yeah. You, you do you, boo boo. Yeah. <laughs> Dream on. Yes. Our last one is an image book. We have, we have all the all the companies represented today. But 
besides like real indies. Um, <laughs> Image, the family trade. It's written by Justin Jordan, who, side note, wrote um, a Green Lantern story I really like because Carol, my my homegirl, Star Sapphire, was in it a lot. So like, I appreciate you, Justin Jordan. <laughs> and um, shout this, out to you, Justin. This is about. It's like also kind of post-apocalyptic but not really it, and they live on this island that um is like a floating city and it was from there was a lot of exposition dumps but it, it, it kind of gave you a good like view and i think there won't be as many in the future but like this king was these people rebelled against their king and made like a city in open water so that no uh -oh. it's a good trade point and they don't have to follow a king's rule or anything like that um, it's about this woman on the cover. I don't remember her name <laughs> right now, but um, she works for a family that um, kills people. It, it wasn't very clear, but <laughs> who doesn't? <laughs> who, who doesn't? <laughs> like a mafia? <laughs> Little bit, well, and it's called the family is. trade. So she, uh, but she has to prove herself to her family, and she's trying to kill the guy who like kind of runs the entire city and and everything and then she tries to kill him and she can't do it and then he catches her trying to kill him oh. and she's like oops <laughs> and then that the awkward, plot awkward turtle a weird moment when you're trying to kill somebody and they find out that you're trying to kill them yeah so yeah they're kind Happens of assassins yeah. they're, they're assassins basically yeah. and um i couldn't think of the word um <laughs> killer and the art it rem it's very french like if you look yeah. at it I, I thought it looked like a french cartoonist i don't know where the artist morgan beam is from but it reminded me of like a French like cartoon. They have weird also, and it's very like, oh yeah. There's a very cute kitty on kitty. the back. It does sound cool. <laughs> yeah, cool. Well, that's it. Yeah. So, oh, any honorable mentions? Um, no, but all the Marvel Legacy books are coming out. Like their first, not their first issues, but they're going back to legacy numbering oh, okay. so it's going to be like daredevil's not going to be at 27 anymore it's going to be at 595 whoa <laughs> someone had a question about hulk i don't know if we can yeah we can scroll back it's a thing and we learned nothing from hulk 181 missing yeah. the oh yeah yeah, yeah. Yes. yeah. <laughs> um it's that's the that's the first appearance of wolverine right I, don't, I think that is the first appearance of Wolverine. Hey, but, if it is, and well, you know, comment down below. <laughs> but it never, like, you can never find it with the stamp included. What? <laughs> so, no. that's, that's what they're referencing <laughs> there. Because uh, yeah. hey, you're going to want to pull it out. Yeah. <laughs> Every time. Every time. Or awesome. you can keep it in there, and it might maybe be collectible. Perhaps. <laughs> so, as far as news goes, have you guys seen the new Blade Runner yet? Mm, no. Not yet. Say nothing. All right. Say nothing. Well, I, 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 I will not give any... Hey, you were right. Was I was cool right. Cool. Job. Yeah, but he wasn't in the X-Men yet. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he was a villain. Um, Blade Runner, guys, so good. I, so good. So I won't bad. spoil it. I won't spoil it. I, but it is a lot different than I uh, anticipated in a good way, though. Like, yes. It definitely caught me on some terms, yes, which I, is great. I had to work at ACL this weekend. So. Oh, no, oh, my God. I almost had to work at ACL. And I'm working next weekend. So if yeah. you're in Austin and you're, you've gone to ACL or going, you know, yeah, keep an eye out. Keep an eye out for her. I'm taking pictures. She's out and about. <laughs> oh, so. queen. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> queen be, of picture Be taking. the Dova queen. <laughs> I know. Over here. Be yes. the picture queen. Uh, <laughs> okay, well, oh you God. know what, though? Whenever I watched the show, the first thing was the preview. Yeah. Jedi. Okay, that's that was Jedi. Jedi. Yeah. Yes. Awesome. So, I know, right? I was so excited because I was like, hey, I actually saw that trailer in I'm the not theater. Watching it again. <laughs> yeah, like the director said, don't watch it if you don't want to be spoiled. And then I was told it doesn't really spoil anything that people weren't already. It uh, doesn't spoil anything. Uh, yeah, no. Mm -hmm. I mean, I kind of set up if you're wanting to know, oh, what is this about? You know? Yeah, I yeah. guess it did. But... It, it does kind of. If you want to totally be surprised, I guess don't see it. But I actually really, really liked it. Right. Yes, Chuck agrees. Chuck agrees. <laughs> I saw it was a pretty long trailer. It was like two and a half minutes. Yeah. I was like, hmm. and you see and where yes, everyone is, awesome. is. I mean, you see Kylo, you see of course, Ray, you see Luke. Yeah. So I mean, it's, everybody. It's people that you expect. You see, you see, you see Poe and Finn. You see Poe and Finn. Finn looks like like he's having a rough time. <laughs> <laughs> and then Poe's like like doing like running moves. So like. I don't know. Yeah, we were at the next point we have the Justice uh, yeah, League yeah, yeah, yeah. trailer. Okay, so the point is is that this has been an extreme wonderful past three days of trailers because yes, there was Last Jedi, there was Justice League, and there was Pacific Rim. Oh, it's a big John Boyega. I know. He's doing something. Yeah. <laughs> so yes, Justice League. You watched it. 
I haven't watched it yet. Oh my gosh, guys! I'm excited though. I'm really excited for Justice League. It looks Me it too. looks really good. What I love about it is that you definitely can sense like where there has been a difference in direction. Yeah. Like like there is definitely Joss Whedon in this. Like <laughs> I can sense you. It's <laughs> it's it's funny. Um it, mm -hmm. it has that quirky dialogue, it has like the little awkward moments that we love Joss Whedon for, but it, it does have like the regular extreme like visuals that Zack Snyder does provide. So yes, looks totally awesome. So Aquaman excited. does look like he's gonna. <laughs> kick oh my gosh! Me. Yes, we got the statue today for Aquaman, and it was nice. Yes, it was I'm really big. Close. It was like this big. And you guys here at Tales from the Geek and ComicsPriceGuide.com, we love our Aquaman. So yes. <laughs> we do. Yeah. He's our guy. There you go. So uh, and then Pacific Rim looks actually amazing. Um, I liked the first one. Not everybody did. But I think like if you're really if you're wanting like just a better version of Transformers, <laughs> Pacific Rim is for you. <laughs> yeah. um, but yes, John Bodega's in it. He looks amazing. It's like it was made for him, and he I was know. like super passionate. Um, love. Not into Pacific Rim. Not enough Godzilla for me. To go. each their own. I too I too enjoy Godzilla, <laughs> <laughs> but I do enjoy Charlie Day. <laughs> we know it is here. So it's like, uh, what does? Bernice not like. Um, <laughs> but yeah, looks amazing. Super excited. Okay, guys. So, wait, Pacific Rim was awesome. Second one looks like it's gonna rock too. Right, right. on, Steve. Yeah. yeah, dude. I like I like the cheese sometimes, <laughs> Joseph. I, I sometimes like that. Oh, I love cheesy. And yeah. being extra punny is yes. always the best. I love puns. Good puns. Send us <laughs> your puns. So, um, if you have a million dollars just lying around, Harry Potter's childhood home is for sale. Woo! Maybe you should go and buy it. That's really, really awesome. You know, my, my small loan of a thousand dollars, a million dollars. One million dollars. Oh, one small. million. Yes. Uh, one million dollars. If we all put away pennies today. <laughs> <laughs> Including you guys. Yeah. We Everybody give us a penny it. and we can maybe get the, well, maybe give us a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> we can all. Okay, let's just do a hundred each. Yeah, uh, there we go. Um, yeah. But yes, location used for Potter <laughs> Cottage in Godric's Hollow is now available. The home, which is going, oh, over one million, I'm sorry. Sorry, is located in Lavenha Lavenham, Suffolk. I probably butchered that. But it's going to be. But it's going to It's for sale. For so sale. You should buy it. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure, I'm buy it you should buy it. Yeah, you you should buy it. No, you should buy it for us. us. <laughs> oh, you Come should on, buy Steve. it and then invite <laughs> us over. Transatlantic move. Yes, let's do it all together. Okay, so. Um, I love Neil deGrasse Tyson. I oh know my gosh, you too. I love we him. went and saw him. Yeah, when he was we did. Here. I was like, oh, I'm here. Yes. And Bernice is like, me too. <laughs> <laughs> and we're like, where? Where? We must find each other immediately. <laughs> um, so, LeVar Burton from Reading Rainbow and uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson did a video together where LeVar Burton reads Good Night Moon to Neil deGrasse no, Tyson. No, are you serious? And it's really hilarious. <laughs> slash adorable. Yeah, yeah, it's really yeah it seems pretty adorable. Every time I think about LeVar Burton, I can only think of in that show Community oh, when, yeah. he, when when Troy really doesn't want to meet LeVar Burton because he's like, I'm pretty sure Dad disappoint you. <laughs> it's true. Oh my gosh. So that's up on YouTube. You can find that there. Okay, anime fans. Yay! Woo! Represent. So, um, French animator Malek has made a opening sequence an opening sequence for Game of Thrones. What? It is. Uh, it includes all of our favorite cast members. Yes, Daenerys is in it. Jon is in it. Blah blah blah. Arya. It, I liked it because it. it really did feel like an anime opening. It did. Yeah. It, it had, had like, like all the hallmarks. The of I mean, yeah. 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 I did not. Yeah. It has the song too. It like like that. Like of, of course like. Do, do, like do, 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 killer, do, do, do. or no, no, like a like a like an anime version. So that is also right. on YouTube. Check that out. I was like, rendition. I was at work, like, do I scream right now? This is really fun. So that looks super cool. Oh, Justin's given us like cheese facts. <laughs> and I like, I like. I like cheese. I mean, I like cheese. Yeah, we did say we liked it pretty cheesy. Yeah. So. We, well, yeah. There we also, go. Uh, uh, my favorite is Gouda. <laughs> it's all Gouda. It's all Gouda. Hey! Okay, we're losing Sorry, speaking of cheesy. <laughs> yes. Um, so, guys, tell me, 
like, tell me one of you did. <laughs> Who got the Rick and Morty oh such one sus? Comment below. Let we need know. to know. If you got it, tell us what it tasted like. What did it taste like? I hear and that it's like. And did you save some? For us. For us. Um, <laughs> I hear that it's like sweet and sour sauce mixed in with like an Asian like salad dressing. So I don't know. That was sounds very good, in my personal opinion. But I've heard like, oh, it was okay, and then I heard it was amazing. So I don't yeah. know if you are of the Rick persuasion. Yeah, let you us know what you think, so or if you know. got some in New York. Don't even watch Rick and Morty. You're like, why is there? Yeah, they're going for like nine thousand dollars. No, no, nine thousand. Like nine hundred dollars on eBay. It's like, dude. I like the give the people what they in. want. It tastes like an over overhyped joke. That people took too far, dude. <laughs> I mean, any sort of like sweet distraction I can have from anything else that is going on in the world, I yes. will take it. Give me that sus. Want, give me that sus. Yes, <laughs> yes. Okay, so Fantastic Beasts sequel will feature Nicola, Nicholas Flamel. What? So yes, the Nicholas Flamel. <laughs> Nicholas Nicholas Flamel. <laughs> yes, uh, the uh, inventor. The creator of the Philosopher's Stone will be featured in the next uh, Fantastic cool. Beasts movie. Okay, will Edward Elric be in it? That's the real question. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but Flamel will be played by Brontus Jodorowsky. I'm so bad with pronouncing Jodorowsky. Jodorowsky. There we go. Jodorowsky. Jodorowsky. Maybe Jodorowsky. Yes. I also remember Jude yes. Law. Oh, I oh. didn't know Jude Law would be young Neville. Though. Yes, when Jude Law. Happen? Oh, that's yeah. beautiful. I think I, I did might not have recorded know that. that a while ago. Yeah, you maybe. probably did. Because I remember Jude Law being yes. mentioned. Yes, Jude Law will but be playing young. Let's remember we that. We love Jude Law. Let's remember that next, moment. Next time it's mentioned, we're going to be like, uh... What? <laughs> remember that time? <laughs> Jude Law will be young Dumbledore. What? No, I And burn it into and your we brain. know that Johnny Depp is um, Grindelwald. Actually, I didn't know that. Did you not see that movie? No, I haven't seen it. Girl! Oh my gosh! Don't spoil it! Spoil it! That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Okay, don't spoil it. it. Okay. Spoilers! Spoilers. <laughs> I was so mad about that because um, I love Colin Fer Farrell. Colin oh, Farrell. Yeah. And he was so good looking in that movie, and I was like, why is that Johnny Depp? <laughs> and he's old! He's <laughs> love Johnny Depp. Okay, so Bob's Burgers, one of my favorite cartoons, they will be doing a full feature-length movie that is also a musical, and that will be coming out in 2020. What? Is it live action, or is it a no, cartoon? No, it's a cartoon. Okay, that's what I thought. It's going to okay. be like an actual movie, like the Simpsons movie. Um, it's going to be July 17th, 2020, so wow. let's hold on for a while. Like, <laughs> you know. And uh, wait for that to come out. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> Don't hold your breath. <laughs> Don't hold your breath. Um, okay, any Overwatch fans, any Overwatch players, you know that we are. <laughs> so, Overwatch... Uh, announces the Halloween Terror 2017 event. Ooh. Yes, you will be able to get all of the cool skins that you missed last year. They will be back. A few new ones. Also, I'm like, is there going to be... Um, there was a, a really popular zombie mm -hmm. mode last year. Uh, they might be bringing it back with maybe a twist. Um, I don't know if it's live yet. I actually haven't checked, but... I'm excited for that. Yeah, uh, Halloween, Halloween guys, yes. it's time. I need to get that Junkrat skin. That's the I, one I'm I really like the um, the new Symmetra skin. Oh, I, 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 she's it's my girl. really cool. She's basically my main now, <laughs> so I love her. Um, so Dang. let's see how that goes. Okay, so Daisy Ridley, our Ray, yes, Ray, um, Ray. and Spider-Man Tom Holland are going to be in a new movie together. It's what? based off of a young adult novel. Um, called The Knife of so, Never Letting Go. So um, this is basically about... Uh, oh, oh hey anyway, <laughs> This is basically about... Guest starring. <laughs> <laughs> it's about a, a planet that has been a human settlement, and apparently all the women are just dying. That sounds like Why the Last Man. I just finished Why the Last Man. It's about where there's a, ever all the... Um, it's a comic about... All everything with the Y chromosome on Earth dies. Oh, and there's uh, one guy still left alive. Like, yeah, yeah. It's really, it's really good. I just finished it. Read that. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so so uh, definitely. Yeah. Check that, check that, that out. That they released a still, so there's no trailer yet. But Ooh. she looks like super like. She's got blonde hair. It's a bob. She's Weird. Got stuff on her face. I don't. I don't know if I can wow. picture her. As and then Tom with a bob. Holland plays the youngest man in existence. So like he's like the last child that's like growing up. I don't know what that... Yeah, that'll be interesting. Yeah. He looks wow. like a child. Yeah, he, he is a 
baby. <laughs> but, um, okay, so this got released like literally right as I was leaving the office to come down here. So sci-fi is relation. We're restraining. This is my uh, my uh, my sh my my dish. It makes me cool. Um, the new show, my Sean Connery dish. Um, <laughs> the sci-fi is releasing a new show called Happy. And it's not like what it suggests. So it's not happy. So it's a good Christmas movie. It's, a good <laughs> it's like Die Hard in the Christmas movie sense. Um, I okay. So the whole thing, it's very not good for children. The trailer itself is. So it starts off as like a guy like shooting himself, and like his brains blow out. But then he starts like dancing. <laughs> and his brains are like coming out, but he's dancing while that's happening. And wow. it's very CGI. But then yeah. there's like, like these girls in bikinis that start dancing with him, and <laughs> he's still like losing his head. And then he dabs. It's really weird. <laughs> what? I'm not that? even kidding. And it's Christian Maloney, right? Uh, yeah. 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 So he plays a, an ex cop, now drug addict and hitman. It looks insane. Yeah, that yeah. is gonna be awesome. I was watching it, and I was like, this is like brain twist. It's a graphic novel. Just like took it's, some it's acid. based on a comic. It is. Yeah, and it just like took acid and then had it show on turn into a show. Yeah. Yeah. William, that's really cool. I forgot to mention that um, the an the Overwatch Ooh. anthology comes out this week. It's the collection oh, of all the comics. Yes, they've been yes, yes, so cool. Yeah. That is awesome. That's With an original it. sketch cover done before Blizzard bought the rights. That is so neat. Yeah. Um, what was it called before they turned it to Overwatch? It had a different name. I can't um, remember. I don't remember. But if you think but, of it, yeah. comment it right there yeah. because then we can also reference yeah. it. And you. <laughs> awesome. Well, <laughs> that's all the news we yeah. have for you today. And uh, I'll be happy to watch Happy. <laughs> we will be. Hopefully, too you guys too. are also happy watching us. Yes. And thank you so much for joining us. We will be back next week. So haven't seen you guys in a week or two. Just wanted to check in and let you guys know what we're currently working on. So this next week or two, essentially October 21st, we're going to be at the Dallas Fan Date. So we'll be there with a bunch of our friends. You may know our friend from Twitch Cosplay, Michael Duquette, and then a couple other people. And we're really looking forward because we will be um, out and about and trying to interview some people around. So if you see us and you want to take a chance to come and talk to us, please shout out, say hi. Again, um, my name is M. Pale. We got May Shetty will also be there. Unfortunately, this time there will be a wedding the same weekend, so we will not be seeing our beloved uh, comrade, whom we, we call a. What is her name? It's been a while, huh? Ah, Evie. So Evie's going to be joining. Evie? Yeah, Evie's going to be joining us later on um, outside of the con, and you'll probably see her around for the Halloween haunted house that we do every year. So if you are interested in details about our haunted house, just reach out to us on Facebook or on Instagram, and we can set you up with some information so you can come and hang out, and um, we'll be scaring children. So if anybody wants to look forward and help, just reach out and uh, see any ways that you can help get in touch and contribute to that, so be part of it. But what I want to show you a little bit today is what I've been working on the last couple of weeks and by the last couple of weeks. I've worked on it a few days and then I get yelled at immediately by my friends because I haven't put enough time into it yet and we're just about two weeks out from the next con. But uh, this is what I've been, got, been, been working on. My Mercy. Oh no, I'm Mercy. Who are you? Who are Mercy? Anyway, um, so you can see... This is all the sewing. All the sewing at this point is done. Um, this is actually not my size mannequin, so if you can't tell, um, this actually will be able to zip when I wear it, so it will not be a free show um, or paid show. You just can't see it. But So this is actually three different pieces. So I've got a pair of pants, so I used some yoga pants around the house. That's also the same shape. Look at that. I'm very just no legs and flat. So that's one piece is going to be those yoga pants. It's a really comfortable, stretchy Yaya Han material. Um, it's actually the honeycomb. So if you can see, honeycomb. You may not see that. Let me check. Sweet. So it's the honeycomb material. Um, and that's going to be all this white. I made sure that I made it the right way to where it stretches so I can eat as much as I want or as little as I want. And the costume will give way. So... Um, again, if you see us, please bring pre-wrapped brownies, and I will eat those. No tainted brownies, nothing with any drugs in it, because drugs are bad. Real bad. 
So piece one, yoga pants. Piece two is going to be this kind of corset body piece. So you can see here, it's just basically a, a high fronted tube top. And it goes around in the back. So we've got the same Yaya Han stretched honeycomb material. And then this nice pleather here. I used some prefabricated PV, not PVC, yeah, some pleather um, material that has rope in the middle that keeps this nice rounded piping and did some intricate details. So you might notice that this looks like it's ripped. It's not. There's going to be something going over it, so don't worry. And then here I added some 3D textures by putting in some um, warbler, no, fibra underneath it and give it kind of a two-dimensional thing just for that piece. Uh, and then this nice pink iridescent color and then back to the white. So just in case this flaps around, I also did the underneath part with the pleather. And have a nice idea. Uh, the last part is the bolero. So the bolero is going to be this top part with the long sleeves. And um, it's got kind of two collars. So this little short collar, which is this little piece here with this trim, and then the higher collar. This point in time I'm keeping this. I may remove it just to make it go a little higher in the back. Okay? If you ever look at the, the reference pieces, this, this basically hugs up that third way in the back of the head. So my ponytail's up. It looks like it fits perfect, but when it's down, I just don't know. Uh, so for the bolero, I went ahead and I sewed it into the zipper so that it's all one zipper piece. But it's nice and kind of connected so that I can wiggle into it a little freer. But yeah, so this is the beginning of the mercy. This is all the sewing. So next what I've got to do is just a few things. I've got to make a tail. Um, I've got to make the little fins that she has on the side. This is a mercy imp, imp costume. Um, so if you don't realize why it doesn't look like regular mercy, that's why. So thus, I've got the tail, the little fins on the side. And then she's got this little brooch here that and I'm really trying to see if I have enough time to make it something that will light up. The really cool thing that I've been looking at is trying to find a nice material that will actually light up and allow it to be really um, iridescent. So one of my friends hooked me up with this really interesting fabric. I'm going to give it a go. If you actually look at this, it's fibers. And I've got it in two different colors. So hers is more of like this hot pink kind of color. So I've got this like orangey pink and then some bluish purple. I'm going to try and mix that together and see if I can get the right color. Essentially, it's fiber. It's called Angelique fiber. And you take it and you kind of put out the thickness that you want on two sheets of wax paper. And then you iron it. And then once you iron it, those fibers actually become a sewable sheet. So you can see here is an example of when the fibers are actually ironed. It becomes this really nice, really shiny, kind of see-through, clear thing. So I'm trying to see if I can get a way to make this work. But I'm needing something that's closer to the color on the tail. So we'll see how that goes. But yeah. Now I have to fold this. How was this folded? like origami um, but definitely come on again we'll be out well you'll see this look more than once because I'm loving it uh, it fits really really well kind of because I kind of made it for me you can't use that it. it's mine you can no you can't I've after letting May wear way too many costumes and getting them back with holes runs rips uh, boning popping out every way. Nope, this is mine. Absolutely. Hi, friend. Hold me. But yeah, come out, find us. Got to do the horns still. And so we're looking really, really close just to probably about 12 more hours worth of work. And fingers crossed that it comes out great and that you guys actually recognize who I am. Hi. You're so tall. See you guys at the Dallas Fan Days. You too.